Hello, my name is Steve Bigelow with the Candlestick Forum. We've got some very easy trend analysis applications when we use the candlestick chart patterns. So we can see this week, there's a J-hook pattern in progress on the Dow. The J-hook pattern is a very easy to identify pattern. Wave one, wave two, wave three. And it even becomes more identifiable or more uh, uh, visual when it comes back to a support level like the Dow did. So remember our common trend analysis uh, aspect of human nature. If they come up through a resistance level, they usually test it to see if it's going to act as support. The fact that the Dow did a J-hook pattern off the 50 simply implies that this is wave one, this is wave two, and wave three, now that it's shown that the 200 is not acting as a resistance, is likely to make wave three the same magnitude as wave one, or kind of targeting to see if it can come back up to this level. The NASDAQ didn't do anything in that uh, uh, specific. However, it did a doji sandwich, taking the uh, trading right through the 50 day moving average, making the 200 the next likely target. So there's an advantage to using candlestick patterns. One, it gives you extremely high probabilities of detecting the direction of the move and two, the magnitude of the move. So our Roblox recommendation, never close back below the T-line. Notice the little morning star signal today telling us it supported at the uh, T-line, making the two or the, the 50 the next likely target. The T-line is very effective for kind of confirming a pattern. Ro, uh, Roku did hit the first target with stochastics still heading up, waiting to see if they can break through the 50, continuing that uptrend. So a J-hook pattern, it either uses the T-line or if it uses the 50, remember the more visual elements that we can add to our analysis, such as a support level that everybody else is watching, the more compelling it's telling us that's where they supported and the next wave is starting. It works both as effective on the upside as it does on the bearish J-hook patterns. Comes down through a support level, comes back up, finds it's gonna act as resistance. You can see the slow curve, wave three to the downside. But even more compelling is when you see a J-hook pattern and it breaks out through an existing resistance level. The reason it's more compelling is we can see the J-hook pattern setting up, supporting off the T-line, which nobody has on their, their charts, but breaking through a level that everybody else is watching. That if it gets through the 50 after acting as resistance, everybody comes piling in. We just happen to be in earlier than everybody else. So anytime we see that pattern set up, where they came up, failed, came back to our T-line, and then come back up through this level, the probabilities are extremely strong that wave three is in progress. So these are the type of things that people learn in our, our training each day or in the chat rooms. So we always uh, allow people to try our two day or two week free trial and come join us because everything that's built into candlestick analysis, the signals, the patterns are all based upon common sense, reoccurring aspects of human nature. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat rooms.